everything in this video can be found on a public domain in the full disclaimers down below. Hey, welcome to the Danger Zone. It's Ashley. I wish you lots of love and many blessings. And to everybody who contributed to this video in one way or another, I thank you so much. See, here's a prime example of the games they play. Why in the world are they trying to sit there and claim that their child is named Lily Bet Diana? When there was not a child born in the United States on the 4th of June 2021 with that name. I knew it wasn't serious when he signed that birth certificate the way that he did. I know it does show that a Mary Diana Mountbatten Windsor was born on the 4th of June in Los Angeles. To whom? I have no idea. What gets me is they want to sit there and claim this child that nobody's ever seen is named Lily Bet Diana and go as far as complain and throw a fit and need a christening and it needs to be in the line, blah, blah, blah. How are they going to fix that on the rural website? Are they going to go and change the name to Mary Diana? This is weird. And why in the world would you want to cause a ruckus with the name Lily Bet to begin with? And that's all they did it for was for the ruckus. Nothing is on the level with these people. Nothing. Do you reckon the rules know about this? Surely they do. And this has been going on for some time now, but Megan behind the scenes has allegedly been putting together a campaign team. And I've mentioned this before in the past, but she really thinks that she has a chance to become the president of the United States in 2024. And there's only one way that could ever happen. We all know what it is. I don't even have to say it. So we talked last video about the to-do list that she keeps Harry super busy with. The latest task on his to-do list was to order her a cake from Posies and Sugar. And this isn't some $40, $50 cake, y'all. This is like thousands of dollars worth of cake. And like a good little boy, he did every bit of what he was told. I can't help but remember back to his birthday last year. They didn't do a thing that I remember. And I'm almost certain that this year's birthday will probably be the same thing, huh, Harry? Anyway, Megan's got to do everything that Oprah tells her to do or everything she admires about Oprah. She's got a copy and that's just what she's done. I believe I'm saying this man's name right, Colin Cowie. Anyway, he's a big party event planner. He does all of Oprah's events, every one of them. And to hire him cost up into the millions of dollars. So for Megan's 50th birthday, I mean 40th birthday, she wants a low-key, very low-key birthday party at the house with Colin Cowie as the event planner, of course, and about 65 of her closest friends and family members. Is she going to rent a friend? Because I don't remember her having that many friends. And all I know as far as family goes is Doria. And that's like on a good day. I don't understand it. Where are these people coming from? Or is she going to do the same thing for her birthday that she did for her wedding? Which was to invite a bunch of A-list celebrities that had no idea who she was. I can't wait for some sort of pictures to be leaked out. I'm hoping that'll be the case. I want to know why Megan in that household is the only one allowed to celebrate her birthday. Hmm? If we're to believe there's an Archie at all, do you remember his first? He was in a very soggy diaper with an ear infection and a nasty onesie sitting on her lap reading a book blah and like i said just a second ago harry didn't have any kind of a birthday celebration not since he's been in the states a narcissistic household it's all about her and they're saying harry is so depressed and homesick he is so ready to pack up and go home the newness is worn off and i knew that day would happen i just didn't know it'd take this long i'm being told he's had his feel and now he's ready to return and guess what it's not going to be just that easy he has very little friends in the States. He has nobody he can vent to or hang out with. They have jobs. They have lives. They have families of their own. They don't have time to coddle him and his problems. I'm being told that he feels he lives a very lonely life. He's nothing more than just a house guy. He just walks around doing little piddly stuff around the house. She makes sure to let him know, you're in my way. Get out of my way. Go find something to do. It really seems like the only thing he has to look forward to in a day is what is on his to-do list that Megan gives him. That's it. He literally has nothing else going for him. Well, like I said, he has caused too many problems. He has said so much. 
it's not going to be, hey, I'm packing up and coming home to the family, and they're going to be standing there with open arms. It's not going to work that way. And according to a royal insider, Prince Charles doesn't even think he deserves to have royal attached to him in any way, shape, or form. And he said, after the damage Harry has caused the family, he firmly believes that his son doesn't deserve the privilege of being royal. He's about ready to just absolutely sever all ties with him and be done with the situation. And they say that Prince Charles is dead serious. He is so fed up with all of it. And Harry can thank his sweet little wife for that. She made sure to ostracize him from the family. And that's just how control freak and abusive control freak operates. They want to take you away from anybody that loves you and convinces you that they don't love you the way that I love you. Nobody can love you the way that I do. And once you've turned on all of your loved ones and your friends, and you turn to this person that says, I love you more than life itself, they drop kick you. You become absolutely worthless. The game is over. They made it to the end, and they won. They're over you just that quick. You become an absolute bore to them. There's no challenge. They've already destroyed everything. Now they're looking for their next victim. It is super sad but true, but I have found a lot of men suffer this kind of abuse. Even more so than women, I think. Anyway, I sure appreciate you being here with me today, and I hope you're having a good one. I'll see you soon, and we'll talk fast. Y'all stay safe and be blessed.